I finally get to meet fellow Kenyans. They're here for training, just one crowd of many Africans living in China. In this region. They come from different regions and backgrounds, but they're united in their passion for learning. Engineering is what drives them, and thanks to scholarships from the Chinese government, they're here in Beijing to make the most of their natural talents. I love science, I love math, and the idea of construction is, uh, fascinates me. And uh, I also got this scholarship, among others, but this was the best one of them all. Since I was a child, I've been, my passion was to do engineering. After graduation, as I promised to my country, I'll have to go back and work for my country. They're among more than 50 Kenyan students studying engineering at Beijing University. They want their place here on merit, but it's a big commitment. Four and a half years away from home. And for the first year, they needed to study the language. When we first came here, our first challenge was the language. You come here, not many people know English, so it's hard to, we mostly use the same languages. <laughs> our Chinese teachers aren't as smooth in English, but they'll do whatever it takes to make you uh, perform well in exams. The rewards can be immense. For the students, it's training in cutting edge technology. For Africa, it's in the transfer of skills when these students finally go home. I think it's a, it's a good idea, especially for Africa, and to be specific for Kenya, because it will definitely improve the country's economy. So many people will get employed, and it will improve the living standards of very many people. China offers far more to the students outside the classroom. The blend of the modern with an ancient culture and a different outlook on life. Still, they do get homesick. To my family back at home, what I can say to them is that I love them and I miss them a lot. I miss Kenya and let's all preach peace. I love you all and I'll make you proud. To my family, I miss you so much and I'll see you soon. Thank you. Sony Methu, CGTN, Beijing University, China.